Shalom, Yeshua. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Recha Kodash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessing to those Le'akim that has preached the word in all truth and sincerity, along to Israelite foreigner brothers that like the heathens. But the line and foul side goes back to the nation of Israel, which nation of Israel are you so called Negroes? Latinos and Arab Americans through the prophecies and curses of Deuteronomy 28 chapter and throughout the Bible. So this is Brother Yakal, a mom's pack lesson, and um, today's lesson will be entitled, The Name of the Lord is a Strong Tower. I was going to go on some precepts, and uh, Lord willing, you brothers and you sisters out there, be edified through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shimon Shai. You know, because the names of our God, which is the Most High Yahweh and His only begotten Son Yahweh Shai are very important, you know, because you have a lot of, you know, uh, you know, you have an Israelite camp, you know, by the name of IYC, that doesn't, you know, push the names of the Lord, man, you know, and their leader, you know, th in Daniel seven, you know, Bishop Nate, you know, um, he doesn't, he knows the names of the Lord, but he refuses to teach them because, you know, he sold out. You know, and I just wanted to go into a lesson in regards to that because, you know, when our hell bait loose, you know, we're going to definitely need protection from Yahweh by Shimon Shai, you know, and uh, it begins with knowing the names to have that protection, man. Just like, you know, you wouldn't, you wouldn't like if a woman will call you by another man's name, you know, so the same thing with the Most High Yahweh, you know, he wants to be addressed by his name, you see? So, I'm going to begin with uh, Proverbs chapter 18 and verse 10. It says, The name of the Lord Yahweh is a strong tower. The righteous went up into it and is safe. So, the name of, of Yahweh by Shemon Shai is a strong tower, man. You know, because whenever you see the the, uh, the word Lord in all caps, it's talking about the heavenly father Yahweh. You know, uh, Yahweh. It says Jehovah, uh, right here says Jehovah, the existing one, the proper name of the one true God. You know, uh, that's his true name, Yahweh. You know, which means Yah, Yah means he, and Hawa means exists or is or to be. You know, he is or he is to be. You know, uh, or he exists. So that's the true name of the Most High, Yahweh. You see. And his only begotten son name on the world entity called Jesus Christ is Yahweh Shai, Mashiach. You know, and there's so uh Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, uh the most high uh when the world entity calls God and Jesus Christ, they're so called black men, according to the scriptures. You know. So the the believers, the elect in the last days, in these days that we're living in now, they're gonna run, they're gonna run into those names. They're gonna trust in those names, and they're gonna be safe. You know, because the Lord is going to grant them the hedge of protection. You know, and when you go to Psalms 145, 1, it says, David's psalm of praise. It says, I will extol thee, my Yah, my God, Yahweh, O King, and I will bless thy name forever and ever, man. See? So, for the name, you know, to be, for the name of the Lord to be blessed forever and ever, that will mean that in, in the latter days, we will have the true names of the Lord. You see? And um, I'm just trying to find the scripture. I just thought about this scripture right now. It says, uh, it talks about um, the name of the Lord endure forever. Um, let's see. Yep. Psalms 135. Psalms 135. And King David, he will be in the kingdom. You know? So he's, you know, he's going to. Uh, King David, you know, which we believe, you know, uh, was King Masha, you know, um, you know, he's in the spiritual realm now, but in the kingdom, he's going to, the Lord's going to resurrect him back, you know, so, you know, and he's going to be back on earth again, praising the name of the Lord. This is Psalms 135 and 13, it says, Thy name, O Yahweh, endure forever. And that memorial, O Yahweh, throughout all generations. See, and are we a generation of Israelites? You know, 
So that proves right there that we will know the true name is the Lord in the last days because it says, um, it says forever, you know, and it's like this picture. Let me get this picture. It's like, yeah, so, so for the name of the Lord to endure forever, that will mean the last days, which we are a generation of Israelites, we will know the names of the Lord, you see? So, let's go to St. John 17, verse 6. It says, I have manifested like this is Yahweh Shah speaking uh, to the Most High. Uh, this is, uh, is Yahweh Shai, uh praying to the Most High Yahweh before he went on the cross. It says, I have manifested thy name, which manifested means it may known. You know, thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world, you know, which were the, uh, the 12 disciples, you know. It says, thine they, thine they were, and thou gavest them me, and they have kept thy word, man. So the Most High Yahweh is the one that gave, you know, the apostles to Yahweh Shai, you know, because they were uh, beginning with them, you know, excluding Judas Iscariot, they were the elect and the believers that believed in Yahweh Shai. So they were, they, they were the elect of their day, you know. So, you know, the apostles back then, they, they had the names of the Lord, man. You know, and we go on today's day in Zephaniah 3 and 9. So for then I would turn to the people at pure language. And who are the people? The Israelites. You know, begin on with the elect. A pure language. And what's that pure language? The Lashawan Kodash. You know, um, Lashawan means tongue or language. And Kodash means holy. So the holy tongue, you know, which is the Paleo-Hebrew. It says that they may all call upon the name of the Lord Yahweh to serve him with one consent. So the elect in the last days, they're going to call upon the names of Yahweh by Shimon Shai in, in all one accord. You know, so the elect in the last days, they will turn back to their nationality. You know, they will call upon the names of the Lord in Hebrew with, with all on one accord, man. You see? So, um... It was Zephaniah 13, 8. It says, And it shall come to pass that in all the land, and on the land that is Tamo, the land is Tamo is America, you know, Babylon the Great, you know, because it says land in the singular tense. Said the Lord Yahweh, Two parts therein shall be cut off and die, and two parts therein is the two thirds of the wicked Israelites. And that's why, you know, for you newly tuning in, I can, you often hear it say the two thirds. You know, this is the description that. You know, we reference the two thirds, the two thirds of wicked Israelites that are gonna cut, be cut off and die because uh, they're not gonna repent because they were wicked. It says, but the third shall be left therein, which is the one third, the elect. You see, it says, uh, you know, the hundred forty-four thousand holy apostles and prophets. You know, and, and, and the, the woman, you know, and, and children. You know, but it all begins with the. 144,000 holy apostles and prophets. You see, it says, verse 9 says, And I will bring the third part through the fire. And the third part is, you know, the elect bringing them through the fire. The fire is represents, you know, the actual fire is twofold, you know, through, uh, because the Lord's going to deliver the elect through the nuclear, uh, from the nuclear destruction. And they're going to be in the midst of the fire. But also, the fire can represent, you know, the plagues and Jacob's trouble, that fiery trial. You know, so the Lord is going to bring them through the elect, through the fire. He's going to deliver them through the fire. And we'll fight them as silver is refined, and we'll try them as gold is tried, because our faith, uh, the elect's faith is going to be tested. They shall call on my name, see? So the elect, when they're going through catching hell, they're going to know the names of the Lord, man. You see, in Jacob's trouble. And now we hear them. I will say it is my people, and they shall say Yahweh is my God. So, so this is how you know the Lord will only acknowledge you if you know His name. See, the Lord is not going to answer you if you're not calling upon His name, man. You know, even if you do know the names of the Lord and you're preaching false doctrine, you know, because you you have a lot of Israelites that teach the names of the Lord Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, but they're teaching false doctrine. You know, such as you can have. You know, sex on the Sabbath, you know, you, um, the MOTB is not the uh, implantable technology, 
you know, and many other bugged out things, man. Eating pork, you know. So it's a lot of Israelites that know the name of the Lord. But just because you know the names of the Lord doesn't mean you're going to be saved. Because it's a lot of Israelites out there that know the true names of the Lord, but they're pushing false doctrine and, and they're not of the elect. You see? So the only way the Lord's going to hear you is is if you're the elect, you know, and you call upon his true name, you know. And um, we go to St. John 4 and verse um, 21. And this one, you know, um, Yahweh Shah, he was speaking to the woman at the well, the Samaritan woman at the well, which she was a heathen, by the way. She wasn't an Israelite. Uh, but it says, Yahweh Shah said unto her, Woman, believe me, the hour cometh when you shall neither in his mountain nor yet at Jerusalem worship the father. Why? Because she wasn't a, she was a heathen. She was not a, uh, uh, she wasn't an Israelite. You know, she was a heathen. You know, because only the ones that can worship the, the Most High Yahweh in spirit and truth, you know, is the elect. It, it, it is is the Israelites begin on with the elect. It says you worship, you know not what. We we know we what we worship for salvation is of the Jews, you know, of the Israelites. But the hour cometh and now is when the true worshiper shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth, for the Father seeketh such to worship Him. So, so yeah, so the worshippers is, is that's happening right now. The true worship, the true worshippers, which is the elect of Israel, they're gonna worship the Father in spirit and truth, and it all starts off with the names of the Lord. You know, it says, Yahweh is the spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. See? So, it all begins with the name of the Lord. And um, when you define that term, tetragrammaton, it says 1400 from Greek, uh, tetragrammaton, the word of four letters. From tetra, four, and gramma, letter. So, four letters, because you will see these often. You know, which these are the um, characters, you know, um, it's transliteration of the characters in the Hebrew is, is the Yah, the Ha, the Wa, and the Hasa in the Hebrew, but English is Y-H-W-H, you know, but it's Yahweh, you know, because it's only two vowel sounds in the Hebrew, the, the, the I and the I sound, because I just proved that real quick. Cause this is the um this is the payload Hebrew right here. And there are twenty two characters in the Hebrew alphabet, you know. And you read Hebrew from right to left, and it's A Ba Ga Da Ha Wa Za Kha Ta Ya Ka La Ma Na Sa I Pa Taza Kwa Ra Sha and Da. So as you heard there are only two vowel sounds, the A and the I sound, you know, and at the top, you know, this is a, this is a Palo Hebrew, as it says right here, and at the bottom, this is a Syrian or Aramaic Hebrew, you know, and um, so, yeah, so there are two vowel sounds, and the name of the Most High is Yahweh, you know, not Yahweh, not Jehovah, because there's no J's in the Palo Hebrew, you know, it's Yahweh, you see, and the son's name is Yahweh Shai. And when you go to um, Proverbs 30 and 4, it says, Who have ascended up into heaven or descended? Who have gathered the wind in his fist? Who have bound the waters in the garment? You know, talking about the glory of the Most High. Yahweh, how he's very powerful. Who has established all the ends of the earth? What is his name and what is his son's name, if thou canst tell? So is. is so the scripture is being presented unto you as like in a riddle, you know. So what is his name, the Most High's name, which is Yahweh, and what is his son's name? If thou can tell, if he can explain it. So his son's name is Yahweh Shai. So you know, simple as that, man. You know, but you know, you have a lot of Israelites that complicated, you know, try to complicate the names of the Lord because they sold out, man. You know, they're they're um, they're scattering the sheep. But, you know, we understand that, you know, a lot of the Lord put the spirit on false prophets to deceive the non-elect that he doesn't want. So, you know, so it's, it's scary. You can be in that, in that lot, man. So we got to be thankful that we 
have our true leaders, you know, which are Apostle Elder Gray Millstone that have rightly divided the word of truth unto us and taught us 100% truth, man. You know, we get on with the name, so. So, yeah, I just want to make a uh, lesson on that. You know, I know the lesson kind of went another way, but, uh, you know, Lord willing, it still was edifying. So, um, with that, I'm going to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Kodash, double honors to the apostles, the elders, the great millstone, peace and blessing to the Ophelia that's preached the word in all truth and sincerity. Shalom.